Yeah. So for now, I'm going to start um, sharing my screen. Even if you want to switch off your camera, you can do that. But if in a meeting, I'm just trying to show you because even some of you that are going to be working remotely, in a meeting, if you will come in a meeting, your employers will want to see your face. This is the work ethics. Maybe you didn't know it before. That is how it works. When you are, because people tend to be serious when you are looking at their eyes. But once we don't see the person, the person might just be playing around. And we don't want to play around, we want to be serious. So that's why I'm asking you to show your face. Don't like I don't know you before. I hope you are seeing my screen. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. Okay. So this is a um, executive um, training workshop, <clears throat> and um, here these are some of the things we are going to look at. But the main thing that really um, concerns you and uh, the main thing we'll be doing is going to start from this managing shop. But I will just give um, some of these things, I've explained it already, but for the fact that we're having new new person like uh, divine just joining us today so i need to run down <coughs> on all these things i've explained before when we had a a one-on-one -on -one lecture um uh, workshop introduction to catroid what is catroid catroid is a multi-vendor e-commerce marketplace where people can come and buy. So it's an online marketplace. When you place order online, we'll receive your order and we'll be able to deliver your order to your address. And if you don't have a good uh, valid address, we are going to have a um, pickup point where you come to the pickup point to pick up your your order. We are not the first um, person to start this kind of business in Nigeria. Uh, Jumia is uh, doing this kind of business we are planning to do. So if we are starting this business, we are going to be uh, competing with Jumia. Jumia is going to be our major competitor here in Nigeria. Because uh, here in Enugu, where we want to kick off, Jumia have already have operation. Uh, the, the, the operation in Enugu is not uh, strong. So that's why we are choosing here, where our competitor doesn't have a strong hold. So that is what we are doing. That is Catroid. I'm just trying to introduce uh, Catroid. Uh, business through job opportunities in Catroid. In Catroid, you can work the as um, a direct employer. All of you here that are receiving this training, we are looking at employing you directly working for the company. It is a direct employment that we are looking at. And um, you can be a seller or a vendor. A seller and vendor is the same thing. Because this is a multi-vendor e-commerce, uh, people can come and sell, and we as well, the owner of the business, we are going to be selling as well. And people can come and sell. And how do we make our money from these uh, uh, sellers? When every order is being processed, 
we get commission for every sale the vendor or the seller makes through our platform. Another opportunity here is affiliate marketers. Affiliate marketing is a situation whereby you don't have a, pro, a, a, a product you are selling, but you promote other people's products through your affiliate link. You can promote it uh, through your social media account or social media group or pages, you post it. And when people buy through your affiliate link, you get commission on that product. A lot of people have been doing it, making a lot of money. So you don't even need the, um, to have any physical product you want to sell to be part of this business. So creating accounts in Catroid. In Catroid, you can create account as admin or as a staff. And that is what we are. We are here, we are admin and staff. So our account here is admin stroke staff account. That's what we are using. Then sellers or vendors can equally come and create accounts. Their own account is different from us, and their own account will just give them opportunity to be selling their product. But we, the admin or staff, our own account will give us the power to manage the seller, manage every product in this platform. Then another account is uh, this um, affiliate marketers. As an affiliate marketer, your account will give you um, a power to have access to all the affiliate link of all the affiliate product, all the, all the product that's under affiliate. Because when you are creating a product as a staff or as a vendor, you decide whether your product is going to be an affiliate or not. So we are going to, we are going to have affiliate products. We are not going to have product that's not affiliate. It's left for us to decide um, which capacity or which category is a, a product is going to be classified. Another account we can have here is a um, customer account. This account is different from all, all these other accounts. The account will give us the power to buy products, browse products, um, pick product of our choice, and then um, successfully place an order and make payment. Once the order is uh, placed, then we'll be expecting our product to be delivered or addressed or to be uh, picked up at the relevant pickup point. These are the um, various uh, accounts we can have here. So the next thing is um, managing the shops. Because there will be so many shops. This is shop. There will be so many shops inside this sh shop. Like all the vendor accounts, they are shops. And we are the people that are going to be managing them with them. And we're equally managing the products within, our, within the whole shop. This is an online shop. So how do we do that? How do we manage this shop? We manage this shop through um, product management. Under product management, you can upload product from admin section. So you can create product as an admin. All of us here are admin in the sense that we are working within the administrative section. We are working for the company. So we might have a super admin or, but all of us here are admin. We are, we are a staff, we are an admin. So this will give you the power to create product as an admin. And how do we do that? 
to create a product under that section, what we need to do is first you add a new product. So creating product on that mean is creating a um, product catalog. And then what we do is add a product, add a new product. Under adding this new product, you provide the product data. And under that, what you'll be doing is uh, the product information. That's the first thing you need to add. And product information is the product name, product category, product brand, product um, unit, minimum purchase quality, tag, refundable. So you decide whether the product um, is going to be refundable, like if the, the customer is no longer happy, is it going to be refundable or is it not going to be refundable? The platform gives us the functionality to do all these things. Then the next thing is to upload the product image. And we can upload the product image from two um, sections. Number one, from the gallery image, which the product image will be 600 by 600 pixels. And then if it's going to be a thumbnail image, it's going to be 300 by 300 pixels. Then the next thing under add product is um, product video. Our platform have the capacity to upload the video of any product that you want to sell. So that the customer can equally not only see the picture, they can see the video on, of the, the, the product they are planning to buy. And that will help them to feel the product. No, that is not because so many times pictures can be after treating and editing, the product might become so cosmetic that the, 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 the customer might not really understand the, the the real nature of the product. But when you have a video, so many customers prefer it to see the real nature of the product. So we have it. And to do that, we can provide that through uh, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Vimeo. And to do that, we create a, um, a product link where we use proper link without uh, extra parameter. This is how we can be uh, creating product videos. It's very easy to do. The next thing is product variation. Product variation is we are creating a product that got so many colors. You should be able to define the uh, select from the different colors so that. Um, the customer can choose a color of their choice, like is it black, like is it green, is it blue? Our platform have the capacity to give you this um, a, for, um, a, a color variation. On that variation, we still have attributes where you should be able to create products by sizes, like have small size, big size, size um, um, XL, um, extra large or extra, extra large. So this is well uh, under attribute, this is where we can get it. This is what we have under the attributes. Then the next thing is um, product um, price and um, product stock. From here, after creating our product, we should be able to put the price of the product and then put the stock in the, this will, the, the, the stock here will help us to put the amount of, the number of uh, uni, units of product in stock so that um, the, the customer will know the amount of product you have. And we, the product management team, 
we know when we are running out of stock and then replenish the product. And or when the product has gone out of stock, then we can deactivate this product. Because we have the, with the functionality we have, we can, once you create a product, we can activate a product on, or deactivate the product. So when we don't have a product on stock, all we can do, we are not going to delete the product. All we are going to do is uh, deactivate the product. So when we have um, the stock have arrived, arrived, all we need to do is go back to the product and then activate it and uh, put the number of stock we have at that moment. This will help us to, to be managing our stock and inventory, making sure that um, not when customers order for products, we we'll start running around because we didn't know that we've run out of stock. And then product uh, description. So this is the area where then we come and they describe in details um, about the product, give a full description of the product, all the gains, everything we can um, benefit, we can drive from using the product. <laughs> this is where actually the, mar the, the marketers uh, try to convince the, the buyer to buy the product by making sure that they list everything about the product, describing the product very well, so that we won't have a situation where um, the customers who after buying the product, they say that uh, they don't like the product, that they are refunded, they, they want a refund. So we should be able to describe our product very well. And this is where this uh, product description comes in. Then these are these ones I've just listed now, I've just discussed now, are the key areas. These are the key ones we must. These are a must in our project, a product um, creation. We must provide all this data. Okay, there are some other ones that are still good, but it's not a must, like um, PDF specification. PDF specification is where we have um, described the products in detail or, or the product uh, manual, a soft copy of the, the product manual in PDF copy. We might decide to upload it so that the customer can equally download the PDF and read it very well. So another one is a, a search engine optimization meta, meta tags. This is where we, we create a meta tag for easy identification of this product. When a customer is searching for this product and we use this uh, meta tags, it will be easy for them to locate this product. It's very good. Um, uh, when we're trying to search a product. And the Google, they like meta tags so much because even if a, they, we have a, a search engine optimization meta tags, if customer go to Google and search for a particular product, it will help our website to pop in because this tag is within our website, but it's not a must. Then shipping configuration. Shipping configuration is, uh, is very, very important because this is where we, we put um, the address of the uh, customer where, where we are going to deliver the product. So it's very, very important that we configure the, the, the shipping, um, we do the, the, the shipping configuration, add all the data, uh, and information about the customer's address. Low stock quantity warning. This is very good as well, because under low stock quantity warning, we, here we we'll put the, the minimum amount we'll have and the, the platform will flag off red color that we are running out of stock. This is very good. So like, for instance, if we are selling product and at the moment we have uh, like uh, 1,000 units of that product, we can say that if the product um, has gone down to uh, 20 units or 20 pieces, then 
the low stock quant uh, quantity warning will flag up that they were running out of stock. So this is where we do that. Then stock visibility. Stock visibility is where we, we, we manage the stock. Here with this, because some people do not want the customers to know the amount of um, stock they have. So they don't want them to know the amount of stock um, they have. So, but under stock visibility, we should be able to manage the stock um, level. And then the customers can see the, the, the number of stock we have. Then under cash on delivery is um, a feature where customers will pay when they uh, when we deliver the product. But we are not going to use cash on delivery. I've um, said much about this cash on delivery feature because uh, you know Nigeria. Uh, so many a times, somebody will, some people will just be playing around with your website and they're playing around with your product. They don't really want to buy. But when you bring the product they ordered and start calling them to come and take their product and pay, they will refuse to come out. And by then you have paid the delivery person to go and deliver the product and then you'll be losing. So that's why we are not going to use um, uh, cash on delivery. We are going to be using online payment gateway. So that we know those who are serious. If you pull, if you place another and pay, we know we are serious and come and deliver a product. So here is a featured product. This is here we feature some product, and uh, the features product are the product that will be popped up or be at the top of the uh, landing page. So any person that is coming to our, uh, our page. Once you click on our landing page, you see all the featured product. These are very good because some of our vendors who want their product to be on the featured page, they have to pay for us to feature their product. So then today's deal is a, a marketing area, a marketing feature where we can say that uh, some of these products, we are putting them on today's deal and they put a special discount on them to attract customers. Then another marketing uh, feature or strategy is flash deal. This is where we, we can create a, a flash deal, 24 hour flash deal, that uh, so, so, so product will be on 50% discount. And after so, so, so amount, maybe after one day, the product with the, uh, the 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 percentage will disappear and go back to the normal price. So these are uh, a marketing uh, feature, marketing strategy as well. Then estimated shipping time. When we start working over time, we should be able to know how long it takes us to ship or to deliver a product. So with this, we should be able to put the estimated shipping time. So that the customers will, uh, will know when to expect their order. If we, we if we our expected estimated time is uh, three days, we we'll put three days. So within that three days, we should be able to deliver, and this will give the customers the the peace of mind, knowing when to on uh, um, expect their product. Then, VAT and tax is where we like in western world every product is being um is being charged is being taxed so uh, vat is uh, uh charged on some but i don't think this thing is obtainable in uh, nigeria so we might not bother about it but it's good to know about it because if we are grown and they start um uh scaling uh, our operation outside here and maybe so we should be able to know how to add VAT and tax on our product 
And after all this information we've just put, the next thing we have to do is just to publish the product we've created. And that's how we create our product. So this will help us to create um, a cat, um, 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 a, a, a product catalog before we start um, a, a adding product or creating our product. Before we create a product, we, we make sure that every details about the product, we have them in a piece of paper like this, with this template. So that when we are creating a product, we'll just be um, transferring information or data from this our template direct to the website. And to do this, before we create any product, after um, creating a data with this template, uh, a line manager will go through it and approve it, and then we'll publish that product so that there will be no, no so much mistakes um, within our product lines. So that is how to create a product um, in our shop from the admin. And equally, if you go to uh, creating a product under seller is still the same thing. So creating product from admin and the and creating product from the seller is see the same information that we use here that the same information we are, we are going to use. So that's the rundown of how to create a product. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to move into the site and the uh, login and you will see all these things I, may, I have measured. I will open up um, a create a product form so that we'll see how it is. I'm going to log in not as a super admin. I'm going to log in as a, a management trainee, just like all of you. Where I'm logging in as a management trainee is that. What I'm seeing is what you are going to expect to see when you log in. And after this training, you people will be given assignments to go and start creating products. So we'll see your level of understanding about creating products. You know, we have um, procured um, three laptops for you people for a start. We will be coming to the office to start doing practice. And we've equally uh, procured a um, Wi Fi um, internet router that can supply up to 30 people or 30 devices or 30 laptops uh, internet. So you will not say you don't have computer, at least we have a computer to start, to start from and they will have internet to start with. So these are what we are going to be doing. After this training, we'll be coming to start practicing on how to create products. And that um, will take it off from there. So now, before I proceed to the, the website to, to log in and do a small demonstration, if you have any question, you can uh, bring up your question. Okay, sir. Good evening, sir. All right. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Um, yeah based, uh, on, based on the low stock testing. Uh, please, if you want to talk, you should be audible. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, based on the low stock exchange, um, is it going to be programmed? We can't hear you. Can't hear. You. Please, uh, um, talk closer. We can't hear you very well. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, you are talking about the low stock. <clears throat> yeah, I heard about the low yeah, stock. The low. Yeah, the low stock. Um, the product. Is it going to be programmed in a way that once the stock is low, then we have an alert 
and our lives, you know, on our dashboard. That yes, that's that what I said. That that's what I said. It's programmed. Okay. That whenever, okay. whenever we have a loose talk, it's going to be flagged off. A red color, a, a, a red color will be flagged off, showing danger that we are running out of uh, stock in this particular product. And the person in charge of um, uh, stock inventory should be able to, you know, um, tell the management that we are running out of stock, and then we replenish the the the, the stock that we are running out of. That's the importance of that. And is that is a very powerful okay, feature. Okay, Any more questions before we we'll dive into the, the demo? Okay, good. We are going to um we're going to the demo area right now. Okay, and uh, here we are in Catroid, and you, as a staff, um, we are meant to log in, and um, here you log in. So to log in, you have to put your email address. Yeah, I'll put my email address. My email address here is going to be um, Charles Charles Hilton at Catroid dot com. As Hilton at Catroid.com. That is my email address as a management trainee. And then I'll put my password. For your password, I've created a password for all of you. Your password with your email address, which you supply to us. For now, we are going to be using your email address over time. When you have become um, your employment is um, confirmed, then we we'll create another email address which is going to be maybe Daniel at Catroid.com. Or for now, you can use your, um, your email address with a password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is your password. That is password for everybody. That's what you use to log in. So I will add my own password now. Yeah, can see I've logged in now. So if you use your password, if you use your email address, which you supply to us, and this password I gave to you, if you log in, this is what we are going to see. You are going to see something like this. And from here, you see what you have access to. You have access to products. So meaning that, you should be able to add products. You should be able to uh, manage all the product. You should be able to add new product, manage all the products, either in-house products, <coughs> sellers products, digital products, bulk imports, bulk exports, category. You should be able to create a category. You should be able to create brand. You should be able to create attributes. You should be able to create color variation. You should be able to review, uh, look at our review, what the customers are doing 
with our uh, product. Then we should be able, that is under retail. That is under retail. All these things I'm saying is under retail. Then when you come to auction products, you should be able to um, add new products under auction. You should be able to manage all the products under auction. This is for ourselves. And you can do it from the in-house auction, that is from the company auction. You can equally manage it because the, the sellers equally have the power to, to create auction products. And then uh, here, auction product orders. Here from here, you can manage all the orders, product orders from the auction. So that is it. That is the, what we, we can do under the auction. Then under wholesale, you should be able to create a wholesale product, a product under wholesale. Then all wholesale products should be managed all the product as under, under wholesale. Then you should be able to do this in-house. In-house means from the company, from our own, like if you are selling a, whole product, a wholesale product. And then vendors, which are sellers, should equally be able to create product and you as a staff should be able to help them do that. That's why you have uh, access to that. So that is what you, you, you can do um, as a staff under wholesale. Then when we come to sales, sales means the product that or the, all the orders we've received. Here is the order. And you can manage order, in-house order as a staff. So from here, you can look at all the order we received and uh, manage it, package it, and send it to the um, to the customer. So the, this is what, what you can do. And then here is the order from the sellers, the vendors, where you can package it, you look at it, package it, and make delivery. And then here is the pickup point order. If uh, 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 because during the, 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 the product, you should be able to, to indicate whether the product is for delivery or for the or pickup. So these are here um, where you can manage all the product that are means for pickup. So from here, if you pick up all the order here, you can package it and go to different pickup points and, and deliver those product there so that customers can go to different pickups and start picking their products. So that's what we have on the uh, pickup. So that's how you manage our order. And you as a staff have a, um, a power to do all these things. We can decide to re reduce the amount of load we are giving to you. You can just decide and remove all these things and you might just be seeing only uh, products. So, but I've, I've given you access through access control to see all these things because we might be assigning anything we want to you to do within all these uh, uh, tasks and deliverable that you, should, you will be doing. So, and there here, this is a, a customers. From here, you should be able to see the list of all our customers, you know? So if a customer call and they say, I made order this, 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 this. Once you go to the list of customer and they search um, with the customer's name, we should be able to see the customer and then know what um, the customer have ordered. If the customer is lying, you see it here. If the customer is saying the truth, you see it here. If the customer said that he paid and he didn't, the customer didn't pay, you will see it here. Because this uh, platform is highly transparent and configured in a way that um, nobody can cheat uh, nobody. So, and classified products, we are not gonna use classified features for now. The classified feature of this platform is exactly what some of you know Gigi. So this is what Gigi doing, like, um, they can just um, release their product, and when the customer sees the product, the customer can call the, the phone number of the customer will be there. And email. So the, the customer, I mean the, the seller, 
the phone number of the seller of the product will be there under this class file listing. So the, 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 the customer can call the seller and they will negotiate. And that's it. If we are putting this thing, it means that um, we will be charging sellers on subscription. So any seller that want to use this thing, this particular um, feature, class five feature, have to subscribe in order to use it. But for now, we're not going to use be using it. Anybody who wants to buy must uh, make order through uh, our payment gateway, which is uh, Paystack. It's highly recognized globally, all over the world. Paystack, they are doing very well. Paystack and the Flutter Wave. We are going to add Flutter Wave very soon, but we'll have Paystack already. So seller, from here, we can be managing all our vendors. We can be assigned to manage vendors, you know, become your, you can, you become your own account, just like in the bank. You, they, they assign accounts to you to manage. All these are our sellers, we can assign, like for instance, when um, um, Fine Brothers register with us, and decided to sell here, Fine Brother will become a seller. So we might assign one of you, Fine Brother, as an account to manage. So uh, that is it. Somewhere like uh, Henrich, which is a, a big uh, distributor of um, um, computer accessories and equipment. If they register with us, one of you might be assigned to Henrich um to be managing the accounts so these are where we can manage all our customers uh, their payouts their payout requests because we'll be managing it all their, their their money so once they they, they they make a request for payment should be able to process it and pay the money to the account and here we manage um sellers commission how much you are charging a seller on everything they are doing with us, uh, sellers package, all the packages about seller, like the ones they need to subscribe. This is where we're managing them, you know? And uh, before you sell with us, we need to verify you, make sure that you are authentic. You are really a seller, you have product you are selling. And this is the verification form they need to fill. So that's how we manage our sellers very well. Then here is the block pools. From block pools, we should be um, able to be writing creative articles about our product, which we'll be sharing to the world via social media and the rest of them. So this is where we'll be writing our blogs. And um, we'll be assigning in some, some of us who should be doing that very soon. Then here is uh, marketing. This is where we'll be marketing all this flash deal, you know, coupon and uh, subscribers. So from here, uh, we'll, we'll tell customers to subscribe to be getting newsletters or latest about our product and about our company. So this is how we use we'll, what we have for marketing. Over time, we might still be having more sophisticated marketing uh, features. And here is support. Support is here is um, mainly where we manage customer support or any kind of uh, support, whether in-house support. So if you're having any issue within the company as a staff or uh, as a customer, this is where you have you come to create a ticket. This is, for now, it's going to be within the company, in-house. So we are going to add customer support feature as well. Now, if you're having any problem, you're trying to create pro, um, product, and you're finding it difficult, it's not working. So all you can do is create a ticket here, and one of us is going to be an IT support. We'll take your ticket up from here, and then resolve which have whatever this thing problem you are having. So that is what is uh, that one is going to be doing. So as you can see here, 
I created a ticket here. It's a demo ticket I created. And once the ticket says, this is the ticket number, ticket ID. And then I created this ticket on 20, on um, December 26th, 2021, around the uh, nine, around the um, seven o'clock. That's when I created this ticket. And the tickets, what the ticket is saying, I cannot, I can't add address after adding image to the basket. So it's an issue and you created this ticket. And uh, somebody will take it off from there. This is the ticket. So, and this is where the admin uh, resolve the issue. Here you see what the admin, after resolving the issue, then you can now add the image. The admin says the issue is now resolved. So if the, <clears throat> the admin has resolved the issue and I've checked and I find out that it's now working. So that is how to create ticket. And when it's resolved, you, um, you come here from here and say submit to resolve. I'm showing that um, the, the issue has been resolved. But if it's not resolved, you will still leave it open till it's uh, resolved. So that's how we, we manage um, issues. That is the technical support. So everything is, um, um, is here. So let's see about products. Let me see, open a, um, a form on how to add a new product. All these things I've, I've said earlier. Now, um, this is the form. If you are going to create a, a, pro, a, a product, add a new product, this is where you add the new product. This is the form you are going to fill. Just like I said, here you put the product name and you put the category. And the, uh, the categories, there are so many categories here. You just select from which categories you want to and they put it and here brand there will be so many brand here you select from the brand if you are if you are brief, but brand is not uh, necessary is not a compulsory so the compulsory one is the one that um, have this uh, red asterisk is a must you know but it is equally good that if you are selling um adidas product it's good that we put brand to know that we are uh, the kind of brand we are selling. And here is the unit of the product you need to, you are selling. You need to put the unit here. So, and here you put the maximum, the minimum um, purchase quantity. So for instance, here is a, the minimum purchase quantity here is one. So as long as you can buy at least one product, we are ready to sell. But if you are maybe here, the minimum purchase that if you don't buy up to three products, we are not selling, you put three. But here our minimum quantity is one. Anyone who can buy one, that's big um, patronage. And here we put tag. You know, you put tag here, it will help us to, um, during the search, like if you look at, if you, if you don't understand any of this section, if you look below here, you see this tiny word that describes what you can do in any section. You see this type, the, this uh, tag area, this is used for search. Input those words by which customers can find the product. So you put keywords, which product can uh, uh, use to, 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 to sign for the product. For instance, if you are selling a handbag, you come here, you add a handbag. If it's a Gucci handbag, you, when after adding handbag, put another one, put another tag called Gucci. If it's, um, so anything you feel that customer can start to find that bag easily, then you put it here. So, and this product, if it's going to be refundable, this is where you put it. All you just need to touch this button. Now, I've put it here. It's no longer refundable. 
any products you are creating uh, at this category cannot be refunded. So the customer need to read well. But if it's refundable, so that if customer buy anything uh, which is uh, not our fault anyway, we can refund. Then you click here, can refund. And after then, the next thing is the product image. You add the product image. It's specified here. It says 600 by 600. That is the product um, image. So that is the product image. And here is the product um, uh, thumbnail. This is where you so select the product uh, image uh, thumbnail, which is uh, 300 by 300. So from here, you, you just upload the image. So like I said before, we still have video. This is where you upload the video. And here you select the kind of video you want. Is it either by YouTube video or daily motion or Vimeo, you select it from here. And then you put the link here and the video will appear. So that the customer, after seeing the image and the customer is not still satisfied, the customer can go and watch the video of the product. And then uh, when you come about variation, if we need to put a product variation, we need to activate it. And we put it here, all the functionalities about the variation will appear. But we are not, it's not uh, composite because all, all, not all the product will have variation. Not all the product will have uh, colors. Not all the product will have sizes. Some product will just have a, a static, um, a feature where they don't have a color or they don't have um, uh, sizes. So, but for some product that have got sizes, like um, a t shirt that have got different sizes and different colors, this is where we manage the product through variation and the attribute. And you can see a drop down list here where you click on the drop down, we bring all the colors here for you to choose from all the different colors. And from here as well, you click the, the drop down list, you bring um, the sizes. So this is all the way we can manage variation. And then after putting all those things, you need to put the product price. Here, yeah, this is where we put the unit price here. And if it's, if you are discounting this product, this is where you put the discount. First, you put the discount date here. If you click here, you see the discount date. If you, if you are running a promo, a discount promo for three months, then you select three months starting from here and ending to so, 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 so date. So this is where you select discount um, um, date. Then if you are selecting discount here, is either a flat discount or a percentage discount. A flat discount is that if you are selling the product um, 100 Naira and you decided that you are removing um, 15, um, uh, 50 Naira out of that um, product, you just write 50 Naira and it will be slashed off 50 Naira. So that is, is flat. But if you are, if you want to choose percentage, if you are selling the product um, 100 Naira, instead of uh, choosing flat, you can choose a uh, percentage. So what we are going to put here is a 50% discount. And you appear 50 is just 50% discount. So this way you select it. And then you set um, uh, a quantity here. This uh, point is a club point where you can say the points here, how much points you want customers to get. Any customer who, who buy this product will get a point. This is where you put a point. But if you don't want to give out any point, you leave it for zero and they have no point. But you put it like three points, one point, 10 points, which can be converted into money. Maybe one point can be um, a, a, a five naira, two points can be 10 naira. So if you want this is a kind of promo as well, 
you know, point is equally called a kind of uh, um, uh, jara, uh, discount is equally jara, but although all of them are jara, you know, to just to um, appreciate your customer for buying is a loyalty uh, point, which you give customers for being loyal. So uh, here you put the quantity, the quantity of the product um, you have. So that's where you, you, you see the, uh, in terms of uh, stock availability, you see, put the quantity of the product we have. So uh, this external link and SQL are, are not uh, so important. So we might not be using it for now. External link button for now, we might not be using it. So we will not be uh, bothering about uh, that so much. So let's con uh, concentrate on the, the most important one. And these are the product description. It's very, very important. We put our product description here very well just like i said earlier when we we're treating this this is where you put product description everything about the product and here i'll say something about uh, pds specification um this is where uh, pds specification can be a manual about how to operate the product for instance if it's like um a, a mobile phone that you are you are selling um uh, something you can put the manual here that the customer can just download the manual. Maybe after buy, you can download it or read it before I even buy. It. So, and this is um, SEO. SEO means search engine optimization meta tags. These are key words you need to add in this um, product so that um, customers will be able to find this product very easily. And if you want to add a, a meta image, an image that will be representing that this product, so that even if like customers search on the way, on the Google, this meta image will appear for the customers to see a product and maybe like, because a lot of people want um, to see the image of the, what they are buying even when they are Googling the, 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 for the product, this is where you upload the product that appear. Most of the time you'll search on the internet for, for, for products like mobile phone and the rest of them. And when you finish what you are doing, if you are not, if you couldn't finish your job at uh, the same, um, uh, and maybe your shift is as come to an end, Maybe if, if you are closing and you have not finished up, um, up, uh, creating this particular product, you can come and save as a draft here so that um, you continue and um, continue later. And here, yeah, after finishing, um, when you have finished, it's no longer on draft, but you don't want to publish it yet. You can save it and unpublish it with there so that anytime you are ready to publish it, you can just go down and click publish. Or if you want to publish immediately after creating, you just click save and publish and your product will be published. So that's how you do it. And like here are the areas where you do the shipping configuration. Under here, this is where you do shipping. You see, this product is qualified for shipping. Then here is where you decide the rate of the shipping, decide the, 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 the price. If you put this thing here, for instance, you put it now, you can see the shipping cost will appear. If you are um, uh, trying to, to ship this product, uh, maybe what the delivery person is charging for this product is 500 Naira to deliver this product. This is where you put it, if it's 100 Naira, you put it so that customer will know how much this uh, product will be used, uh, how much that you, you, you use to deliver this product to its address. And uh, yes, 
And during the payment, these payments will be included in the price of the, the product. But if it's like a, a, a free shipping, you click here, you see, is that there, it means it's free shipping, free shipping. So you don't need to put any money. And this is the uh, product quantity multiple. These are where you, 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 you talk about the number of uh, quantity you charge. For instance, if it's, if, if it's a, uh, you say that if five products, if you buy five products, then you'll be, you, it's going to be free shipping. If you click this thing, this is the, the functionalities will come. So that is how you, you use all these um, functionalities when it comes to shipping. <clears throat> but for now, we'll leave it where it is as um, free shipping. And this is where you do the, um, the product um, uh, stock management, inventory management. This is where it flags off. So like here you see, low stock quantity warning. If it's a one, this is in one here. So when the product remain one, the, 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 it is going to flag off that we are running out of stock. But if you want it to be like um, um, 20, put 20 here, when, is, uh, when you have 20 products, it's going to flag off that we are running out of uh, stock. But let's leave it where it was at one. So product visibility, under this product visibility, you can see, <coughs> the customer can see the, the number of, um, the amount of uh, quantity we have on stock when we leave, when we put it here. But if you don't want it to, the customer to know this, we just um, switch it off. And we and we go out. Customer will not know again. So, but we leave it where it is. Now here is a show stock uh, with the text only, and here we can um, hide the um, the stock. So when we click here, we hide it. So the customer will no longer see the amount of uh, stock the product have. So, but we we'll put it to where it was. Customer should be able to know. So this is cash on delivery. Uh, like I said, we are not activating it. If I want to activate it as a super admin, I will activate it from my back end, from my own side. But we are not using cash on delivery for now. If we have any reason why we should do that, then we'll do that. But for now, um, I don't think we are going to use it. So if you are featuring any product, this is where the feature comes. We're able to feature a product from here. And any product we create in the picture here, you see the product on top of the, the home page. And some of, if you are selling from our, our vendors, any vendor who want the product to be featured so that the, everybody will see his product, will pay us extra money and feature his product. Uh, so, but for now, let's leave where it is. So that's how we, we decide which product is going to be on feature. And this is where we select the product we want to be on a daily deal. So we we'll put it here. We should be able to select the product we are going to put on a daily deal through the product uh, management. We are, we are going to go there very soon now, uh, managing product. What we are doing here is adding new product. After adding this new product, what we are going to do, we are going to look at the product we have already, how to manage it. So flash deal. After adding a new product, we can put it on a flash deal immediately. This is where we manage it. From here, we can choose um, all the flash deal we've created, like a new year deal, um, Easter deal, Christmas deal, a Valentine deal. This is where we create it and put it on flash deal. So immediately after Valentine or after Christmas or after new year, it will disappear. And then, then when you put it in flash deal, maybe, 30% uh, discount, flash deal. This will put uh, a discount. So, and this is where we manage either flat discount or percentage discount. So this is where we do it. So, and uh, here is where we manage expected 
shipping time. If we take five days, there is no need of lying. After working for some time, we should be able to know how much, how long it's going to take us to deliver a product within this Enugu, or how much it's going to take us to deliver a product from Enugu to Lagos, or from Enugu to, to Potakot or Abuja, because we are going to spread to all these areas. So if it's, it's taking us uh, five days, maybe through Autostar, to deliver a product from Enugu, to, to Abuja, we just do five days, or if we see two days after the logistics from uh, here to Autosta and from Autosta from our local delivery, if it's going to take seven days, this is where we put it. We should be able to put the accurate date so that the customers will not, um, they have a peace of mind while waiting for their order to arrive. And uh, this is where we put our VAT, if you are going to be charging Tax in uh, in Western world, every product they charge VAT, they charge tax. So that's why it's here. So that is um, all about um, adding product. So you can see it's a form we fill, and to fill this form, we must have process all the data. So when we want to, and the data must have, about the product we're adding must have been approved by our line manager, so that. Once it's approved, we can just come here. Within, within three minutes, we have created a new product, upload the image, which we have processed, and that is very sharp. And then when we create a product, we equally need to manage the product. So let's see some of the products we've created and uh, how to manage it. But before we do that, let me take questions from you guys. Any question? Yes, I have a question. Okay, crack on. Okay, good evening, sir. Yeah. My question is uh, the pictures that we're going to be using in this uh, product creation. Mm. How are the pictures going to come about? You are going to snap the product you are going to create. All the, all the pictures you see online, they somebody snap them. So if you are going to be uploading a mobile phone, you have a picture of a mobile phone, you place it somewhere, you snap it, and then you process the picture, edit the picture to make it look good. And then that's the picture you are going to use. You are, going to, you are not going to use fake picture. You use picture of, of the product you are selling. If you are selling a perfume, all you need to do is play the perf place the perfume in a table in a very strategic way we are going to get a good camera we'll be using for snapping our product. I saw something I forgot about. We can be using our phone while we are learning. But we are going to get a, a good camera we'll be using to snap our phone and we'll get um, a good uh, graphic designer that will be supporting us while doing all these things and uh, um, editing the picture. Because the picture is the number one thing in in online management, so that people will see it and it will look exactly the way it is in real world. So that is what we are going to be doing. I hope I've answered your question. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Okay, crack on. Good evening, sir. sir concerning uh, this uh, low stock quantity warning, mm. is there? going to be something like a sensor that will notify us that the the, the quantity is low yes or how will it's go? not a sensor. we are going to once you have low quantity you receive a push notification we, as okay. admin we are, we are going to receive a push notification to the person in charge of a low quantity it will just trigger and you know that um you have a low quantity. So that's how it, it's going to be. But okay, sir. You, you, we receive a notification uh, about our low quantity. We have a push notification configured and integrated in our, so we should be able to be receiving quick no, um, push notification. For instance, uh, for delivery boys, if, you, if, if a delivery is being assigned to you, 
you will receive a quick notification, you know, so that you can go and do your delivery. So these are some of the things that is highly configured and packaged package well. So our solution is packaged very well to help everybody. All you need is just try to learn to master it. Any more questions? Okay. Um, let's see. Um, in-house in-house products so you can see here all the products we have in-house here if you want to really edit this product this is where you are going to edit this product from here edit if you want to delete this product you just click here film the, the this thing is gone this product is gone if you want to duplicate this product or copy it, you duplicate it. This will save you time of starting a fresh. For instance, if you are creating similar products, you just duplicate and edit it and put so and that's you created a new product. So if you want to view this product, yeah, from here you view the product. From the we after creating, you want to see it how it looks uh, in the front end. You see how is is it not looking beautiful? So that is our, our portal. Once you created a product like this, you should be very proud of yourself. So back to back end. So, and um, if you want to feature this product, this product is on feature. Feature the, if you want to over time, don't want it to, to be on feature. We'll remove this product is no longer on feature. If you go to the this thing, you are not going to see it there again. But I'll put it back. Let it be there. And if after publishing this product, you want to unpublish, let's say PM, you are not going to see this product again. It's no longer published. And this is very good because instead of deleting products, if you don't want any products um, to show. It will still be there at the back end in our um, the collection database, but it's not uh, deleted. So if you want to republish it, maybe we are now out of order, we will remove it here because we don't have enough order so that customers will not be confused. If this product will remove it, we'll unpublish it. It's no longer there. If you go there, you're not going to see it. But maybe we, we remove it and uh, tomorrow uh, today, or tomorrow we receive the consignment of this uh, product and uh, we'll now have it in surplus. Um, we'll put it back. It's ever water, ever water doesn't change there. So there is no need of uh, trying to create ever water again. So if you want to put it on daily deal, you come here, put it on daily deal. You will go to daily deal, to this deal, you will see this, uh, well, if you want to remove it, we'll remove it. And you can see here, we have uh, 1,000 uh, units of this product. That's uh, our total stock. And that is how we manage our product from uh, in-house. And uh, from seller's product, let's look at our seller's product, see how they manage. So uh, from seller's products, this is what we have. And uh, yeah, we can, this is how we manage the other one. This is how we can manage our pro, uh, seller's product as well. All the features we have. But the only thing is you as an admin have access to manage their product. So if when you become account officer of any company, maybe uh, Fine Brothers or Henrich, then you should be able if they if you are not if they are not um, technically sound, you should be able to help them manage the accounts. If they are not computer literate like like you, they can still sell here. So one of you will manage the account and uh, uh, do their product. If a, a customer 
upload a create a product and the product is not up to our standard we can decide that we are not going to approve that product from here approval you see i'm not giving them approval again so they should go and uh, improve the qual the quality of their image before i can approve it or i can do it for them so once the equality of the image is uh, um, improved then i will approve it so that's how you can be managing some of these uh, uh, clients or cost, uh, sellers product because some of them will just upload any rubbish and uh, come and put here and be destroying the image of our company we are not going to take that so that is it so that is how to manage products and um, that is what we have for tonight and this video is going to be um, recorded and um, uh, uploaded to our base camp so that you guys will go there and be rewatching it while doing your job. So uh, next time we are going to be looking at how to um, edit pictures, how to use Adobe to, to, to create images for our product and, and uh, uh, create a, um, a specified image size and background and make image, um, images look good, make them highly optimized so that they are going to look very, very sharp and good and they are appealing to the customer. So that's what we are going to do next time. But for tonight, this is where we are coming to an end so that at least you can assimilate this one first. More questions before we go. Yes, right. Do you have any more questions? More questions? Yes, sir. I have a question, sir. Okay. Um, you did not talk about the wholesale, wholesaler and the auction part, or do they, they use are the same, similar they are the, they, are, they are the same form format, so there is no need of repeating oh. it um, again and again. It's just the same thing. But let me click on it briefly so that you can see the 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 interface. But um they are almost the same thing but with few few variation but let me uh, bring it back okay sir. so let's look at um um option so So you see, this is the auction. This is uh, the, the auction area. So you see, it's uh, uh, very, very similar to the other one. The, the difference, I will show you the difference here. The, the difference between classic product, uh, adding classic product and adding um, auction product is here. You look at here, you see, because auction you bid, is where you bid. So you write the bidding date, start bidding the price. You can start bidding. For instance, in the auction, and um, you must provide specified price where they start. So for instance, if you are selling a, a product, you can say that the bidding price will start for, and uh, you are selling the, a mobile phone, Samsung mobile phone or iPhone, that they are, they are selling um, uh, 500,000. You can say that the bidding will start from 10,000, 10,000 Naira uh, product, they are selling 500, you can see. So people can start bidding. From 10,000, if, if you bid like um, 12,000, start bidding and bid 12,000. And at the end of the day, nobody bid 
bid more than that 12,000. And the, the, the duration for that auction elapsed, then you win the auction. You can see how you buy a 500,000 Naira worth of phone at 12,000. That is auction. And here you put the bidding price and you put the auction date. From here, you select the auction date from Susu period of amount of time to Susu period. Here you, where you select the, the date, you know, for the, for the auction. So that is the difference between um, classic product and um, auction. If you, the people that are using auction very well as uh, eBay, that is what is eBay is known for. That's what gave eBay this popularity they are enjoying is eBay and they are still using it. So we've uh, adopted that their methodology and see how we go with it. So let's look at a wholesale. So let's um, add a new wholesale. So you see, just like I said, they all have um, similar um, features. This is wholesale. So this is where the difference come. The difference between wholesale, well, there is the, the configuration that uh, separates wholesale from, um, from retail and separate wholesale from auction is here. And after adding your product, you come here, you specify the minimum quantity of a wholesale so that from here you put the unit quantity. If you do, if you do not put the minimum quantity here, it's not a wholesale, it's just a unit sale. So if it's when, after, when by the time you put the, the minimum quantity so that if a, a, a customer start adding a product, if the minimum quantity is, um, is five, then you put five here. For instance, say five here. And then you put, uh, uh, for instance, the, the, the unit price here is, um, let's say, 100 Naira. And then the wholesale price here is going to be 50 Naira. So when the customer add up to five products, the customer instead of getting the price for 100 Naira, we get the price for, for 50 Naira. But when the customer add four products, the customer is going to get the price for 100 Naira. So if you must add up to five products for you to enjoy the, the wholesale. So that is how they work. You can see this is just one feature that uh, separated it from the other classic uh, product uh, management. So I think I've uh, cleared your question. Any more questions? No, it's pleasure. Okay. Okay. In the absence of any more question, um, I say thank you for participating in uh, tonight's um, uh, training. I will be communicating you with the next um, training and the next um, task you need to be doing. So that is what we'll be doing. And now we we'll have uh, some computers to work with. Uh, it's time we start. Uh, although we, we, we are yet to sort out our our main office place, but we can uh, be using um, Lerosi office 
um, to do some certain things for now. So you'll be, you'll be communicated on the next line of action. So thank you so much and uh, good night. This video will be uploaded so you can go and watch it again and again. Thank you.